Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be using a geo board and some rubber bands to make geometric shapes. First, we're going to review how we use the rubber bands on the geo board. When we are placing a rubber band on the geo board, we put our finger down on one side as we stretch it across to the other side so that the elastic band does not fly off and hit anyone. Hmm. Well, let's try to make a three-sided shape. If you have a geo board and some rubber bands, I would like for you to try to make a three-sided shape. I have one, two, three sides. One, two, three. What do we call a three-sided shape? <laughs> You're right, it's a triangle. What do we call the point where the two sides meet? Some people call it a corner, but a mathematician calls these points angles. A triangle has one, two, three angles, just as it has three sides. When we're taking bands off of our geo board, we're going to hold one side as we take off the other so that it doesn't fling away. I would like for you to try to make a four-sided shape with your geo board. There's so many different types of four-sided shapes. What is this shape called? You're right, it's a rectangle. A rectangle has one, two, three, four sides. How many angles does it have? Remember, an angle is the point where the two sides meet. This has one, two, three, four angles. Some people call them corners. I'm going to try to change this four-sided shape into a different shape. What is this shape called? Yes, it is a square. And how many angles does a square have? You're right. Just like the square has four sides, it also has four angles. I'm going to try to make a, another four-sided shape. Do you know what this si four-sided shape is called? It's a trapezoid. It has four sides, one, two, three, four, and four angles, one, two, three, four. I think that you should have a lot of fun today creating shapes and counting their sides and angles. Have a wonderful day class playing with math. Bye-bye.